Our guest today is an AI. Finally, someone who doesn't interrupt. Now, with Design's multi-character lip sync, you can make two characters in the same scene talk to each other naturally. This coffee tastes like regret. Seriously? What is wrong with this coffee? You ordered it with oat milk and six sweeteners. What's the first law of thermodynamics? Energy can't be created hmm. or destroyed. Exactly. Just like my enthusiasm after lunch. We must control AI before it controls us. Hmm. Or at least teach it how to make a good coffee. From still images or full videos, this tool lets you animate full conversations. No keyframes, no complicated software. In this video, I'll show you exactly how it works. And by the end, you're able to create your own two-person AI scenes with zero animation skills. Here's what you need. A still image or a short video clip with two faces. Your dialogue, either typed or uploaded as audio. And design does the rest. Just like that. Two characters, one scene, full lip sync. First up, podcast visuals. Let's say you've recorded a podcast, but don't want to just post a static image. With multi-character lip sync, you can turn two hosts into a visual experience. Our guest today is an AI. Finally, someone who doesn't interrupt. And it works with real voices and AI generated voiceovers. You can also create your own short skits, sitcom style. AI can write the jokes, generate the voices, and now with design, animate the conversation. Before, you would need motion capture or hand-drawn animation, but now it's just drag, drop, speak. Educators, coaches, and course creators, you can use this to explain concepts through two-person dialogues. What's the first law of thermodynamics? Energy can't be created hmm. or destroyed. Exactly, just like my enthusiasm after lunch. Let me show you step-by-step step how to create your own two-character lip sync scene. First thing you do is go into AI tools on the left, then to lip sync. Then we're gonna to go to the top left corner here and click pick a face image. And you can select an image you have from your computer. One that has two faces in it for this two person dialogue. Click to select each of the two faces, then next. Then it'll bring you to the timeline here. Select to pick a voice for the lady first. Find a comfortable place to lie down. Hey, are you looking for a fresh and engaging voice for your podcast or social media? Mmm, and here's the kicker. I found a secret recipe for the most decadent. So I'm going to go with Hope's voice here and then paste in the text that I've already copied. And you can do text to speech or you could upload an audio if you have it recorded already. Then click create. And here you can see text to audio created with the Hope voice here on the timeline. And you can trim that as you like it. Then I'm going to pick the voice for the man now. I'm going to go with Alex and copy and paste in here. And then it's creating that audio right now and then they're both on the timeline. So now we have the chance to adjust the timings as needed, where we want the voices to be. Did you seriously try to fix the oven with super glue? It worked on my shoe. This is basically the same. If you want to say there to be some overlap, you can move it so that there's overlap in the voices and see how that sounds. Did you seriously try to fix the oven with super glue? It worked on my shoe. This is basically the same. In this case, it didn't sound good. Sometimes it can work really well, like if you've got a mm -hmm or a uh, to try to talk. Then after that, click confirm. It brings you to this page here where you have to then go to the top left corner here and click generate to confirm that you want to generate what you've just done in the editor. And then top right corner, you'll now see that it's starting the task. Did you seriously try to fix the oven with super glue? It worked on my shoe. This is basically the same. The cool thing about this is that you can even do this with existing AI footage or generated images. Here are a few tips to make your scenes look even better. Use images with a clear face and good lighting. For back and forth flow in a conversation, try pausing slightly between lines. Try pairing this tool with natural voices and sound effects. And you can use Design's Timeline tool to fine tune speech overlap and dramatic pauses. I can already imagine creators using this for bringing to life music videos, animated sitcoms and philosophical debates between historical characters. We must control AI before it controls us. Hmm or at least teach it how to make a good coffee. So all of the generations and examples so far have been image to lip sync. And now we're gonna look at doing the same thing, but with a video to lip sync. So we go to upload a face video instead this time and select your file. Then just like you did with the image, you click to select the two faces you want and next. Then you come into the timeline here where the same, the process is the same as it was with the image to video. You, you click to select the voices. Here it's a little difficult for me because the Im 
images of the faces look quite similar, so it's quite hard to discern which one's which. But same process, type in what you want to say and click generate. Then the first man's voice is on the timeline, select the next man's voice and type what you want to say. Choose a different voice and generate. Then it's just a matter of putting the voices where you want them on the timeline, playing the audio and then going up to so click confirm when you're happy with that. Then up top left corner here, you need to click generate. Great flight. Put it there. I'd love to see what you make with this. Post your clips and tag us on social media or even better, recreate a scene from your favorite show using AI characters and lip sync. Design's multi-character lip sync tool is what we've been waiting for. AI voices are powerful, but conversations are where the juice happens. Try it for yourself now on the design platform and subscribe for more walkthroughs, tools, and ideas. And if this video sparked something in you, let us know in the comments which scene you're gonna recreate first.